Bobby Jamison, 44, his wife Sherilyn, 40, and daughter Madison, 6, lived in Eufaula, Oklahoma. On October the 8th, 2009, had travelled from the home in Eufaula to Red Oak, which is a distance of 48 kilometres, where they were supposedly purchasing a 40-acre plot of land near Red Oak in the Sands Boys Mountains, which are a small mountain range in southeastern Oklahoma. Bobby and Sherilyn then visited an associate of the landowner, and when the meeting ended, the family parked the truck and went for a short walk. They also took their GPS unit and found a quiet spot on a hillside. They then returned to their vehicle and drove a little further, and then, with the truck left locked in the middle of a dirt track, they simply vanished. A few days after they vanished, their pickup truck was later found abandoned in Latimer County, Oklahoma, which was a 12-hour drive, or 783 kilometres, from the home in New Fauler, and only 26 minutes, or 35 kilometres, from the mountains near Red Oak. It is claimed that the Jamison's truck was parked in such a way that it appeared that they were leaving and were stopped by somebody. The Jamison's bodies could not be located. However, their dog Maisie was found half-starved in the truck, along with the family's ID cards, wallets, mobile phones, a GPS system, and $3,200 in cash in a bank bag, and Bobby's mobile phone, which had a picture of Madison, which police believe was taken the day before they disappeared. However, the truck showed no evidence of any kind of struggle. When investigators followed the coordinates on the GPS unit, it showed footprints where the family had visited a nearby hill prior to the location where the truck and belongings were found. The following day, on October the 17th, up to 300 people, including authorities, staged a large-scale air and ground search party, but all possible leads went cold and the search for the family was eventually called off. The last person to have claimed to have seen the family alive was a man who lived in the mountains in southeastern Oakley. He had only seen the family and nobody else in the area at that time. After police carried out a thorough investigation, they came to the conclusion that the family had not disappeared of their own accord. Strangely though, two weeks before their disappearance, Chevelins had visited a 12-year-old son, Colton, from a previous marriage, and made no mention of their plans to move to the Samboy area. In July 2009, Chevelins' previous husband had taken custody of their son, and in September, she was hospitalised after a failed suicide attempt. During the custody hearing, 12-year-old Colton said he preferred to live with his father and gave a statement claiming his mother seemed very depressed and that she often acted strangely. When the police went to the family home, they were able to locate the home surveillance system, which showed the time they left their home. Surveillance footage showed Bobby and Sherilyn making several trips between the house and vehicle as they were preparing to pack and leave. In the footage, the couple appeared to look trance-like. However, this could be because it may have been early in the morning and the couple was still tired. The tape also shows Sherilyn placing a brown briefcase into the vehicle. However, the briefcase was never found in the truck. Sheriff Beauchamp believed that the briefcase could be an important clue, along with a handgun that she owned that was also missing. In November 2013, skeletal remains of two adults and one child were discovered by hunters in an isolated part of Latimer County. It had been four years since the family had gone missing on October the 8th, 2009, and only 4.8 kilometres from where their pickup truck had been found abandoned. Although the police believed that the remains were probably that of the missing family, the Oklahoma Medical Examiner's Office had to use forensic pathological as well as anthropological testing, and on July the 3rd, 2014, they were able to verify that it was the remains of the family. Because of the state of decomposition, the cause of death wasn't able to be determined, and the circumstances surrounding their death and disappearance remain unknown. Further research of the family found that in 2003, Bobby had been involved in a car accident that left them with chronic back pain, and Sherilyn had bipolar disorder and had been prescribed medication and experienced bouts of depression. The marriage was said to be in trouble and the family would keep to themselves. 
A short time before they disappeared, Bobby Jamison had been involved in a bitter lawsuit with his father, Bobby Dean Jamison, resulting in his father threatening the family, and at one time in 2008 had attempted to run him over. Bobby Jamison also claimed that his father was involved in methamphetamines and other criminal activity. After interviewing his father, police found no evidence of his involvement in the family's disappearance. In another strange twist, it is claimed that investigators had found an 11-page hate letter in the truck from Sherilyn to Bobby. She said he didn't care about his daughter. She had listed all the things she hated about him, stating that he was a loner and hermit, and that she wanted a divorce. Other claims were that the family themselves were involved in drug dealing, signing the cash they had on them at the time of the disappearance, along with their strange behaviour on the surveillance footage when they were packing their truck. Whenever people go missing in unusual circumstances, the usual amount of rumours, gossip and sensationalism start to abound, and in the case of the Jamisons, there was no exception, where it's claimed that they faked their own deaths, were in witness protection for whatever reason, or had taken their own lives. In another bizarre part of this story, it was reported that the Jamisons had told the local pastor, Gary Brandon, that the home had been invaded by dark spirits and they needed the pastor to carry out an exorcism on their home. At one stage, Bobby had asked the pastor if he knew where he could purchase special bullets to shoot evil spirits, whom he said were living in the roof of the family's home. A friend of Sherilyn told the police that she and Sherilyn would sometimes conduct seances which Sherilyn took seriously. Sherilyn had also written about her black cats being poisoned, as she believed that someone from the neighbourhood had killed her cats, and witches did not like it when their cats were killed. Both friends and family believed the Jamison's home was haunted, and claimed to have experienced odd things inside the house. Sherilyn's close friend, Nikki Chenold, seriously believed the house was haunted, and whenever she visited, she felt a horrible presence, and would leave feeling depressed. It was also claimed that Bobby Jamison had been reading from the Satanic Bible, which was a collection of essays and rituals published by Anton LaVey in 1969. So, there appears to be many scenarios about the disappearance of the family, which included ongoing family issues, drugs and their mental health, which could have led to a family breakdown and their subsequent deaths. Or, had they been involved in the violent drug scene, they could have brought about their demise.